Did you know that you can eat the SCOBY? So not only can you drink this amazing, health-packed, flavorful, effervescent, awesome drink, but you can also eat this funny looking SCOBY. Now these ones aren't too bad looking, but I'm gonna show you how. Ciao. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz and my channel is about kombucha, mostly. And today I'm sharing with you how I make SCOBY candy. So I made it two times so far. The first was a total fail because I used xylitol and I thought I was being clever because xylitol is good for your teeth, said everyone ever, right? <laughs> you say xylitol and you'll hear someone say it's good for your teeth, which it probably is. But I thought I was being clever by using xylitol to make it good for my teeth and it was pretty gross. So uh, this time I use regular sugar. Here is a SCOBY candy. I love them. Two of my four kids love them. Only three tried, and my mom had some too, and my husband will not touch kombucha. I'm surprised he even looks at it, and he might not even look at it. I'm going to watch him tonight to see if he does. I don't even think he looks at my kombucha. Okay. So the process is simple, and you only need a few ingredients. First is a SCOBY. I'd rather use a thin SCOBY. I think all my extra SCOBYs in my hotel here are thicker. Yeah, that, sorry you guys. Thanks for bearing with me. I have minimal equipment, but I love kombucha, so I'm gonna keep sharing. So this, that one's pretty thick too. I'm just gonna use this scoby. It's a pretty thick one. It's a nice looking scoby. And I'm gonna cut it up into small pieces. So let me adjust the camera here. Okay, so let's cut it up. You can make the pieces any size you want. Make my little makeshift uh, wedding ring there. <laughs> it's a rubber band. I do have a wedding ring and an engagement ring. It just doesn't fit, but it's going to fit soon. It fit when I first got it. But I've had three babies since then, kind of back to back, so. So some of these I'm making a little bit thinner. You don't have to, you could put them on there thick like that. Okay, so I didn't cut all of the pieces super thin, but some of them are. And I'm going to place them into my bowl. You could also use a bag if you wanted. And I'm going to cover them with grape juice. I use grape juice because it's kind of like a, I feel like it's a universal flavor. Like most people like grapes and grape juice. Except for my oldest son. He just likes to suck the juice out of them. Which makes no sense because they don't really have that much juice when you suck them like that. Anyway. Then I'm going to add two tablespoons of sugar. And before you freak out because it's sugar... Keep in mind that this is candy. So I'm gonna cover this. And let it soak overnight. All right, so here's one I set up last night. And I didn't cut it beforehand. So I guess I gotta cut it again. But this one's thinner. Let me cut this up real quick. My three-year-old son liked these so much that he was like sneaking around trying to grab more when I wasn't looking. Okay, so after you've cut it up, this is the sheet that came with my dehydrator. I know there's a lot of dehydrators that are like square, but this is mine. So I put the pieces on. Let me do that for you real quick. Okay, so I've cut up my SCOBY that's been soaking since last night. And then I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of sugar over them. And what I'm actually gonna do also is sprinkle some xylitol so that I get those health benefits. 
Keep in mind again, it's candy. You could you could use any any kind of sugar. I'm sure brown sugar would be good or coconut sugar would probably be amazing. Probably even maple syrup, not really sure. It's not to ferment, it's just to flavor it. So here is my before and I will see you guys in the morning. Okay, here is the finished product. Scoby snacks. Excuse me, Scoby candy. This is not the same tray that I put on. My two youngest children got a hold of that and devoured it. And they were even fighting over them. And they ate it in about three minutes. Let me pick one off. So it's kind of like a fruit, fruit roll up. And this one I used about half a table to sprinkle on top the sugar that you see. I used a little over half a tablespoon of regular sugar. And then I threw in half a tablespoon of xylitol because, you know, teeth. Also wanted to say, while your SCOBY is marinating in the grape juice, if you're concerned with mold, you can put it in the fridge. However, I pH tested the grape juice and it was at 2.6. But that was after the SCOBY had sat in there overnight. Good job, Chase. It's alright, just grab one. You can share with Chase.